What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Back with a, it ain't just another video. This is a game changer, all right? Because you've been asking, where did this particular VST go? How can I get it again? But it's back better than ever. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel, all right? So, as you can see on the screen, we're talking about Sample Lab. Remember Sample Lab? Go watch this video. And then come back. All right, I mean the video that I made of part one. This is part two because it's back and better than ever in uh, desktop form and VST3 form or actually in the actual software or DAW that you use. The next evolution of sampling manipulates samples like never before powered by AI technology. That AI, we can't get rid of that artificial intelligence. So what it does is it takes an original sample, it takes it apart, and then you can take that apart. What do I mean by that? Well, you can put an audio file, drums, bass, bell, piano, whatever the case may be. It gets the file ready for you. And then you can change and rearrange notes from there. We're going to look at this game changer. You can also split the stems. You can get the bass, <laughs> the vocal. Woo! Let's go into FL Studio and check it out. Now, like I've told you before, it went away for a while, but it is back better than ever. I'm going to show you how to use this and why this is a game changer, okay? So usually we have the MIDI and we can just put the MIDI to the instrument. Now, we can get the audio and change it to MIDI and manipulate it even further, all right? So I'm going to take a sample. Let me find a sample. Here's a sample right here. All right. Now, I would never know how to play that. You know, that's just my limitations are right there, right? So I'm going to put it in this project. And now... Ta-da! It's going to record and it tells you the key that it might be in or whatever the case may be. We'll work. I'll show you that. I'll show you that next. But let's just focus on this. So we're going to press OK, and then it's just going to start uh, generating, generating, and generating to come up with what the MIDI would be. All right. So let me move this down. Let's stretch this out. Bam. And right away, we can get the MIDI file. Now, it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be some mess ups. It's going to be some overlap. But we can deal with that. All right. And you can get the MIDI file or you can get the audio file back of this once you change it. So let's say we have this how we want to have it. Let's go out here and play it. It's only going to play right here as far as you allow the loop to go. I only want the loop to go five bars. So let's play it like that. Right on time, right? So I have Electro X opened up just to see if it sounds anything like it. So let's see. Dope game changer. Why is it a game changer? Because now you can manipulate the MIDI. So let's go back in here and see what else we can do. Oh, we can drag the sample link track to the file. So let's go to song mode. Let's open up sample lab again. And let's say we changed it. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So this is the regular file. That should be back in here, the pattern right here, okay? I don't know why I 
that's not going. But just know, you draw the audio file, link it back. Okay. If you don't like that, you can go into the, you can change the stems. Let's say you don't want the drums in there. You can take out the drums in the file. And then you can split this, you can split. Now you have, you can delete this. That takes out the drums and then it just plays the audio. Now, what is special about this? Because watch this. I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And now I can just go here. So now it's going to sound different than the original. You hear that? And you can always go back. There's an undo tool. Let's play that again. So let's say we do that to all of them. We can come out with a totally different MIDI, totally different audio file, save it, and now we have something totally different. So not only are we manipulating the audio, we manipulating the MIDI and coming up with something totally different just by having an audio sound. Let's do it again. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is this is a great day. This is a great day in AI. Okay, so that song is already released. I'm just hypothetically speaking. That song is already released. Dang, man, but I really want to vibe like that in the studio. Okay, well, I know it's at 154. How am I going to get that same vibe as painful 154? And my artist really needs this. He, he heard this song on the radio, whatever the case may be. Man, he really needs this. It's going to... uh estimate the key it's going to see what it needs to get for you and you can manipulate this and you can also change the key you press ok it does its damage. Just delete these, by the way. It's every, it's, it saves what you did in, in the past. Okay, so now look at it. We got it again. We're going to take this and make sure it's the full bars. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now we can go in. We got that saved. If we want to bring it down, we can. There it is right there. And if we think that we want to warp the, put in premium, we want to warp it just a little bit, we can do that. And we can also split the stems I don't want the drums or what are perceived as drums by the AI now I just have just the piano the pain that I, I didn't know how to do that on my own now I got the pain melody This is where the fun starts. Now you can start taking apart some of these things and drawing in what you want. All right, start editing the tool. So let's 
in my editor window now I can go in here and really flex and you can come in here and change the grid up right here so if you don't if you want four bars or you want to be real particular about how you put it on the bars there you go your time grid and then you got your pitch grid right there just hit that right there and then you can export it to audio file a MIDI file or just drag it to sample lab link so let's say I want the audio file This is just part one of what I'm going to show you next video tomorrow. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Sample Lab 2 is back in the building, y'all. We working. I'm telling you, you, won't, you don't want to miss this. This is the one mixed in with what else I'm going to show you. All right, it's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Let me get the cooking up. I'm excited now. Peace.